All right, welcome back. Today I have the VX6 HD. This is new for 2017. I have the 2 to 12 by 42 with the Boone and Crockett dial to help with the uh, 10 mile an hour wind drift. And the, this is brand new. with your ballistic aiming system manual how to operate the thing here's what you really came for so the VX6 HD has the exact same uh, layout as the VX6 with the internals and everything being the same except for the upgraded knobs in the included uh, caps up front and behind and with the addition of a throw lever that you can mount to which is included with the rifle scope like I said earlier I have the 2 to 12 which I think would be perfect on a AR platform might seem a little little silly but it is a 2 to 12 which is a lot of power and a nice nice variable to be jumping around in. Let's see if we can have the Boone and Crockett. It'll be hard with the flash, but the Boone and Crockett is designed to give you it's it was built around big game hunting is what the Leopold representative has taught us. And it is included with the little Christmas tree to uh, have a 10 mile an hour wind hold drift. So the first zero would be at 200, 3, 4, 4, 50, and then 500 is the bottom of the duplex. And then each of these, as the wind increases, you have an additional 10 mile an hour wind shift. Just a little background about what I do I've been working for Cabela's selling optics for the last year and I was we have special programs that work directly with Leopold and this is what I bought this one for and it was right at 1995 which is very high but I don't regret it one bit let's see if I can find a battery it might still be in here oh, no it's not I think the battery has slithered into this package There she is. All right, this takes the CR2032. This is a very, very common watch battery button cell. You'll find these all over at Walgreens or any pharmacy store. So what's nice about the VX6 HD, it is illuminated. The entire reticle lights up, and it also has a five-minute timer if it has sat stationary for five minutes it'll shut off the second you pick it back up comes back to life when you are ready to engage your targets and this has a anti uh, tilt lever sensor inside of it which also helps with uh, bore sighting and mounting the optic itself and it also helps with keeping the barrel of the scope and the barrel of the rifle uh, on top of each other in parallel which is ideal also the uh, the new CDS system CDS means custom dial system and it is extremely ingenious what they've done is I can get this calibrated for my AR and 556 and so I would be able to say I was shooting at at 400 yards I would throw it at 4 if I had the correct dial and then I can engage my targets at 400 yards but what's also nice is if you had a if this was on like an actual sniper platform and you had to go more than one turret because uncommonly on the VX6 you could only go one spin but watch real close let me go back so you'll see that's locked out I can't can't do anything the second I press that in it's freelance 
So I'm going all the way around. Watch this button. Sucks in. Now it is, it is recessed into the, the turret. And what that indicates is I'm on my second rotation. Second rotation is indicated by the bigger numbers in the middle. And those can also double as like 4, 5, 6, 7, or 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and so on. So that is a very ingenious system. The Mark VI has a similar system to where a rod jumps out and goes into the top of the turret, but no one can really afford a Mark VI because they are <laughs> very expensive. Um, however, the uh, windage is the same sort of concept, but on the terms of the locking dials, you cannot go more than, than uh, a half turn, but you don't really need a whole lot of wind. There, uh, this is all an MOA. And it's a fourth MOA per one click. One thing I love about these anything Leopold illuminated is how sealed the system is. There's kind of a, a rough idea, but the button, uncommon on like Vortex, like their PST series to where you have a big knob that you have to crank over, or traditionally up here. Um, water, dirt, mud, sand can get into that turret and lock it up, I can guarantee it. This, however, spins off. Your battery is sealed in here by there's a rubber blue seal around there and also two rubber seals inside this cap and a rubber button anyone with half a brain knows that rubber does not take in water so Leopold thought a little harder than Vortex did and actually made it a push button activation you'll find this in all of their VXR series lines the VXR has some of the same technology as well Alright, so now I'm going to go about installing the throw lever, which attaches right here to the erector tube. So what the throw lever comes with is the actual throw lever itself and a Torx wrench. Torx has the star looking design on it. And it's just a matter of loosening that. There we go. And you can put this whichever way you like it. And you'll want to get it flush with the actual bump on the erector tube. I wouldn't recommend Loctite on here because you might end up breaking this. It's it's pretty snag. It'll uh It'll snag on stuff pretty pretty good if you're not careful. Well, there's that. It was that easy. And now, um, ideally, you'd be able to just reach over, increase your magnification, or just get it in between your fingers and, and reduce. It's extremely quick, and I, any variable optic that I even own, I have a uh, some sort of cattail on here. And there are universal ones that are just made out of plastic. They're actually used in plumbing, but someone found out that you can easily put them onto any scope with this tube, and it'll actually just sit on there. But for the most part, this is this is what's on the up and coming. It is a beautiful, beautiful scope. I am very excited to, to run and gun this guy. Here is some different options. You can get a bunch of different stuff. There's your whores reticle. Um, some more information about Leopold and Stevens. One thing I hate about Vortex and love about Leopold, Leopold is machined, engineered, and put together. All here 
in the great states of America. They're over in Oregon. Vortex, they are made in China, including their razor line. They're actually made in Japan, so none of their stuff is made here in America. Sorry to break your heart, but it's kind of stuff you'll learn. <laughs> Yes, Leopold doesn't back their stuff as well as Vortex does, but if you can break this, I'll give you a round of applause. It'll take me probably about 30 minutes to break a Vortex PST. I've seen them broken all the time coming in the store. People pissed because they've spent close to $1,000 and their entire um, windage turret spun off. And I have pictures to prove it. That was a big turnoff considering those things cost more than a Mark IV from Leopold, and a Mark IV has been been deployed in combat for the last 10 years, which speaks highly, highly above it. Anyways, I'm going to get off my soapbox against them. Here's your free custom dial system. You can get it matched, like I mentioned earlier, to your caliber. All you do is send in all of this information, scope, serial number, and whatever. But you can grab all of this off of your iPhone, including your elevation, and you can take a any sort of caliper to measure the distance from the your barrel and the middle of your scope. So you'll want to uh, you want to actually measure it from the dead middle of the scope. Let's get that in frame from the dead middle of the scope to the to the bore of your rifle, the barrel, and that'll be the height of your scope. And you can grab all of the bullet information off of the back of the am ammunition box. Or if you happen to reload, then you already know yours by heart. I would hope so. That's what you all bought it for, is the Leopold sticker. You can put that on your Yeti, or your car, or a gun case. But wrapping this up, this has been the VX6HD. 2 to 12 by 42. Full retail from this, um, if you bought this from Leopold, is $1,995 for the exact one that I have. You will not regret it. I'm a optics snob. I do not believe in paying less money for your scope than you do for your firearm. You will not get good quality time out of your firearm if you put a, a piece of crap True Glow optic on there or some really, really bad Bushnell. You have to spend money if you want results. I see too many times customers buying Daniel Defenses and wanting to save money because they put all their money in their Daniel Defense and they will buy a True Glow or some crappy BSA Red Dot that cost $42 and probably cost $3 to manufacture. You do not get quality out of that. You spent money on your AR or any other rifle platform to get results. You won't get results if you don't have a good optic. That means the world to everything. It's like tires on a Lamborghini or any sort of racing car. You don't want to blow out at 200 miles an hour. So, why would you want to why would you want to fail if you're in a competition or you're in a really, really extreme hunt? Warranties are great. They don't do you anything in the field. Just keep that in mind. All right, well, wrapping this one up, this has been the VX6 HD 2 to 12 by 42 running the Boone and Crockett dial. These should be flooding the market here soon. And uh, I mean, we only have a few at Cabela's. And uh, they're the 3 to 18, so they're they're pretty pretty stout, um, but they are pretty sparse. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have any any questions. Leave them down below. Thanks for watching.